hello and welcome to another what we eat in a day video today is a monday so i'm obviously using my is it friday yet mug because totes wish it was this is available on the sister market in case you're curious it's super cute it is um surprisingly large i mean it looks like it might be a little bit of a smaller mug but it holds a good amount of coffee like the usual amount i always make um i think it's is it 12 ounces of shelves? Um, I don't know. It's on the site. We'll link it down below. But I'm also going to have one of these wellness shots from Pressed Juicery. This one has ginger, lemon, and cayenne. Um, if you guys follow us on Instagram stories, then you already know that I picked some of these up um, yesterday because I woke up feeling a little bit sick. We had a big change in temperature and weather here in New York. It was like in the nineties last week and then it dropped drastically like 40 degrees. So I think it's probably more that, that is affecting me than anything, but we're going to Maine soon and I don't want to take any chances. So I stocked up on some wellness shots. So I'm going to have that. And then you guys know the drill. I'll circle back for breakfast later. <music> girl power mug this morning gonna start off monday on a great note supporting all the women um and i have been using the nut pods um recently influenced by heather mcmahon um so i'm gonna put a tiny bit of that in my coffee stir it up and there we go now i'm ready for monday gonna make my breakfast now well not really make i'm not cooking anything but i'm gonna have yogurt i'm trying this yogurt from siggy's it's um icelandic yogurt which i really like um this is the vanilla one i got a big tub of it so i'm just gonna put a little bit of that in a bowl and then sprinkle it with my, this granola which is one of my new obsessions shelby actually discovered this um at whole foods i really oh, she actually gave me credit for one never does. I like this granola because it is soft granola. It's not hard and crunchy. It feels like, like a soft cookie that's crumbled on your yogurt. So it feels like a very decadent treat. Um, although there really is pretty good ingredients in this. It's just oats, honey, butter, well, butter, brown sugar, blueberries, flaxseed, vanilla, and cinnamon. This is the blueberry cobbler flavor, but I like it again because it's soft. So that's gonna be my breakfast. And probably another cup of coffee, if I'm being honest. you um i was just editing this video and realized that my whole breakfast clip let me switch arms here um didn't record at all so that's good um i have the end showing you my breakfast but not telling you and like walking you through what i was doing um so for breakfast i made these um protein pancakes this is birch benders they're plant protein pancakes and makes about three mini pancakes in a serving. All you do is mix half a cup of the mix with half a cup of water, make them like regular pancakes, and they are delicious. I actually really, really like them. Um, I'm trying to have a little bit more protein in my diet, as you'll see later. Um, I'll talk you through some like protein bars that I'm trying. Um, and then also with my pancakes, I did some apple cider vinegar so i did water with like a tablespoon and a half of apple cider vinegar a tiny bit of honey and a tiny bit of cinnamon and that was breakfast um now i'll take you to the next clip where you can see my pancakes as they are finished all right and here is my three little pancakes this is my hand for reference the little like mini ones but it's perfect because they have extra protein and this will hold me over until lunch it is lunchtime. I am hungry. I'm going to have a salad kit. 
for our lunch today. This one's from Whole Foods. It is the spicy ranch one, which is one of my faves. I love anything spicy. In fact, I have a couple of things I'm gonna use to make it even spicier. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm going to put a veggie burger on it for just a little bit of added protein. I'm gonna use these um, from the brand Hillary's. I like these because they're free from the top 12 common food allergens. So gluten and wheat free, egg free, soy free, dairy free, corn free, peanut, tree nut, coconut free, sesame free, shellfish free, all of those things. That's really hard to say very fast. Um, this flavor is Southwest um, Aduki bean, Az Adzuki bean? Adzuki. Adzuki bean veggie burgers. Um, so I thought that, that would go really well with the Southwest salad. There's not a ton of protein in these. There's only four grams of protein, which is uh, not quite ideal, but fine to kind of like get me through lunch. But for a little bit of added protein, I like a little crunch on my salads. So I'm gonna add um, some of these chickpeas. They're like hard, dried, crunchy chickpeas. This flavor is habanero. It says that it's medium spicy. So um, I'm gonna do that on top and there's uh, six grams of protein in one serving of this. Then also I'm gonna add a sprinkle of cheese just because I have it. I wouldn't usually, um, but I have it and I don't want it to go bad. I bought it for something else. So I'm gonna do a sprinkle of that and then for even more spice, I'm gonna top it with a drizzle of this sauce, which is one of my new favorite discoveries. This habanero, I'm about to tell you. You got the sriracha. No, I got the, oh yeah. Sriracha in this brand, which I tried and it was really good. And so when I went to the store, I saw that they had this habanero one. Can you tell I like spicy things? Uh, but I like this brand, it's Yellow Bird. This is organic carrot, citrus, and garlic blend of condiments, no added sugars. Um, it's all, all the ingredients of this are carrots, onions, habanero peppers, vinegar, garlic, tangerine juice, salt, dates, raisins, and lime juice. That is it. And it makes a very delicious, pretty spicy, this is pretty spicy, um, sauce. I got this at Whole Foods, by the way. So that's gonna be my little salad combo. I'm gonna drink a LaCroix. And I'm gonna watch Harry Potter because um, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is on TV right now and that's a great way to spend a lunch break on a Monday. Here's the final salad. Looks delicious. You gonna have lunch soon? Mm-hmm. Look at Bob. Okay, what are you gonna have today? Uh, a smoothie. Uh-oh, you know what that means, Poppy? I bet you're gonna get blueberries. Okay, I'm making my smoothie for lunch um, like I usually do. I still have a friend waiting for blueberries. Um, so I'm actually out of bananas and I haven't had them for a while. Um, so they're not as creamy. So it is more like a smoothie now instead of an acai bowl. So I am like drinking it. Um, but I just put a side. Let's see. Half a cup of mixed berries. Um, half a cup of water. Um, one scoop of this protein powder from Trader Joe's. This is their pea protein powder, unsweetened. Um, flaxseed meal, chia seeds, and some spinach. So a little healthy drink there. And then um, I have a couple snacks in about an hour and a half-ish um, to fuel up before I go to spin tonight. All right. And that's my smoothie, ready to go. It's so tasty. Poppy had her blueberries. She enjoyed them. And now she's snuggling with Anne Ashley. Oh no, it's harder to carry. There we go, there she is. Legendary Potter. Mm-hmm. Harry Potter lunch break smoothie situation. Okay, so I have been trying to find um, a new protein bar to have like as my afternoon snack. I've been trying out different ones, but with all of my different like sensitivities, they're not like full on allergies, but like sensitivities with stuff and I'd rather have like plant protein, but I know that's not always possible with everything, all of the like sensitivities that we have. So I'm trying different ones to see like how I 
react to them. Um, I had a quest bar yesterday and that was like a no-go. <laughs> um, that did not drive well with my body. So I'm trying out new ones. So let me show you what I have. Okay, so this is what I have left. Um, so I actually tried one from this brand the other day that I really liked. It was, I think they call it like Nugo Dark or something. And it was like dark chocolate pretzel um, that I actually really, really liked. Um, so I think I'm going to try this one today. It's their Nugo Slim. Um, but I think it actually has more protein than the other one. And this one is raspberry truffle. So I'm excited about that. Um, but then I also have this one to try and this one. So if you have any protein bar recommendations, leave them down below and I will try them and see which ones I like. But this is the one I'm going to have right now. Hitting that afternoon slump. So I'm going to drink some coffee. This I'm super excited to try. I got this from Fresh Direct, which is a like delivery only, Shelby's waving back there like a dork, <laughs> which is a delivery only grocery service here in New York. So New Yorkers, um, that's where I got it. If um, you're not in New York, I'm not sure where you can get this. And to be honest, I don't know if it's in any stores. I haven't seen it at Whole Foods. Um, it wouldn't be at Trader Joe's. I don't know if like a fairway or something might have it here in New York. Um, so I don't really know why I'm telling you about it because I don't know that anybody can really get it outside of New York, but. <laughs> oh, you're so helpful. <laughs> I'm excited to try it. Um, it's from Bluestone Lane, which is one of our favorite coffee places. And it's an iced coffee drink that has oat milk already in it, which I'm intrigued about. So I'm gonna try that. Um, I think I'm gonna pour it over some ice here in a second. And then I'm gonna have these. Sunflower seed butter cups with dark chocolate from Trader Joe's because I need like a bite of chocolate. I need a spoonful of almond butter. Excuse me. This is, I don't think I'd ever had this one before, but I just needed some almond butter for a recipe and I got this at the store around the corner. Maranatha almond butter crunchy. It's actually not my favorite and I actually prefer creamy things over the crunchy butters. But I just need like something. Oh, okay. I had the protein bar. Um, I think the ingredients might be okay with me. It feels like fine. Nothing's like digesting weird. I didn't love that flavor. The raspberry tasted a little like fake or not exactly how I want raspberry. Um, I do also have the brownie crunch one in this. So it could be... Okay, mm -hmm. I think I just didn't like the raspberry part. That's good. Mm. It has more milk in it yeah. already than really I milk. would ideally like. Um, I prefer my iced coffee or cold brew with just a splash of milk, mostly black. Uh, but it does taste good. I don't know that it's something I would buy on the regular just because, again, I prefer to put my own quantity of milk in things and that's my issue with these kind of like pre-made coffee drinks but it does taste really good mm hmm mm, these though that's good yeah i haven't tried that yet it's a chameleon cold brew they had a couple oat milk lattes this is a maple one i haven't had it yet but i did drink the mocha one and it was really good. I feel like it was less milk than mm. this. Um, but I did really enjoy it. I'm going to need to drink this at some point. I forgot about it. I should drop in chocolate on the floor. Oops. Yeah. Hopefully this will tide me over. I have to leave. No, not for two hours. Uh-oh. Or more Mm-hmm. Please look at Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> look at that little dog. She's so cute. Whew. Today was a Monday. It was very productive, but one of those where there was just so much going on that my brain is a little tired and my eyes are tired of looking at screens. So I'm gonna take a little break before I dive into um, some as told by work. Shifting gears here. I have a very large glass of water. 
I haven't had a lot of water today and I'm feeling a little dehydrated. So I'm gonna guzzle this um, while I rest for a sec um, and then uh, dive into um, some more work. I have Poppy in here with me. Shelves went to spin. Um, so I'm here by myself for the moment. There is nothing better than ice cold water. Love it. Okay, um, I don't really know what my plan is for dinner. I have a couple of things I might throw together. I think Shelb says she's just doing leftovers, so it kind of falls to me to do something interesting. So we'll see what I come up with. Hello. So I am now post-spin, post-shower. Um, I am cooking my dinner. Now, <laughs> I've started doing basically this huge like hodgepodge of random things in a bowl. So you get to see that tonight because that's my dinner because I prepped most of this the other day. So it's all just like leftovers that I just have to heat up. So first things first, in the oven right now is one of these chicken patties. Um, I usually do grilled chicken, but they didn't have any. So I grabbed these. This is my first time trying this. This is usually the brand I get in the chicken, um, but excited to try that. Also in the oven, is some of these white sweet potato fries that I made. I think I just put cumin and garlic on them. I switch up the seasonings every time. So basically with all of this stuff, I just use, I take like a little portion of each thing and just put it all in here kind of like in a row. So I made some cauliflower gnocchi um, and I just topped it with smoked paprika. That's the only thing that's on it. So this will be the like, smallest portion of something that I'll put on this. I don't usually do this, but I had it, so I made it all. Then this is mac and cheese, but the noodles are made out of zucchini. There's no like um, carby, I mean, there's the carbs from the vegetables, but it's um, zucchini noodles. The cheese is real, but what are you gonna do? Um, and then I do a little bit of quinoa. And then um, I'm gonna, since I have these, I'm gonna throw some of these butternut squash crackers on there. Um, we eat this brand all the time. We usually get their cauliflower stuff, but we saw that they have butternut squash. So I got these, so I'll throw a few of these on there. Um, then I will put all the rest of these kale chips on top. Um, have a little baby bell on the side. And then I usually put on the fries and the chicken a little bit of the siete jalapeno sauce. So I am going to build the bowl because this stuff I need to put in the microwave and I only have, oh, I have less than two minutes in the oven for the chicken and the fries. So I'm gonna build all this together really quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is the final product. It's not necessarily the prettiest, but it's just a hodgepodge of things. It's a very Shelb's meal um, that is not entirely bad for you. It's my version of healthy. <laughs> All right, so Ashley just came out here and she's about to cook her dinner. Um, By the way, it's 8.55. Um, but I just wanted to tell you my dessert really quick. I'm having green tea, which I have every night after dinner. And then I think the serving size of this is two tablespoons. Yeah, so I'm gonna have like two spoonfuls of the brownie batter hummus. They changed the name of all of these. They no longer include hummus in the name of this brand. Um, but we haven't been to Trader Joe's so about this expensive one in Whole Foods, but this is the brownie batter hummus. And it's so good. What are you putting on? A oh, spoon. a spoon. Okay. <laughs> Always underfoot that uh, one. Out of spoons? Uh -huh. How is that possible? That's really unfortunate. I mean, you can actually wash a spoon. I know that's a novel concept. Are you gonna let me get in the kitchen? Oh my gosh! <laughs> you told me you wind and wind and wind for me to come make dinner. I'm here, and you have interrupted me to make tea and now to wash a spoon. No Can you not wait until I am completed with my dinner making? Come on, Zeke's. Let's get a spoon. <sighs> so annoying. These are my tomatoes. I know I'm going to use them because they've been in the cabinet for six years. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Oh my God. So for my dinner, I am going to have this basil pesto vegetable spiral. That's new. I, it's from Whole Foods. I've never had it before, so we'll see how it goes. It's basically just veggie noodles. Let's see what it is. Zucchini. It is zucchini, carrots, pesto sauce, basil, olive oil, lemon juice. It's basically just zucchini and carrots in a pesto sauce. Um, they suggest adding like fresh tomatoes on top. You can see that in the photo, it doesn't come in it. So we have this can of diced tomatoes. I'm gonna add some of that in there to kind of make like a little spaghetti sauce situation. And then this isn't purposeful, but also from the brand that I had earlier today, Hillary's. I bought these um, spicy veggie, it's technically a meatless breakfast sausage. I've never had I've before. Had Have you had them? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, so I'm gonna give those a try with this as my protein source because I am kind of out of groceries again. You so just went to the store. Oh, yeah. I didn't buy a ton. Um, okay, so that's what I'm gonna get to making, and then finally um, sit down for the evening. like surprisingly good. I really liked those veggie breakfast sausages with the kind of like Italian-esque pesto spaghetti pasta situation that I made. So that might be a keeper. Um, it was pretty easy and it tasted really good and it really filled me up. So uh, that was exciting. I didn't have any dessert. Um, so the last thing I have to do is just take my little, um, vitamin pack. So in here I have like, um, fish oil, B12 supplement, zinc, multivitamin, um, magnesium. I think that's all I'm taking. I kind of forget. I have all these little packs. I've talked about them before. I'm still taking them every night and it's great and easy. So I'm just going to take this and head to sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching our latest what we eat in a day video hope you enjoyed and we'll see you guys next time bye